Hey guys, it's Bridger Anderson here with the, the rodeo trail for the social media takeover. Uh, here to answer some questions for you. Looks like your question number one, why do I have such a cool sister? Uh, have a feeling one of them probably submitted this, but yeah, I got two pretty cool sisters, Cedar and Dawson. Uh, Dawson goes to school in Missoula at University of Montana and Cedar goes to Parker for chiropractor school in Dallas. Um, I got a pretty cool, pretty awesome support system. My mom and dad, Glenn and Robin, are very supportive. My sister's very supportive. Couldn't ask for a better family to help me out, but yeah, they, they're pretty cool. That's, they must be looking for some, some limelight. Put that question on there. All right, question number two. Why did I choose steer wrestling and have I done any other events in rodeo? Uh, I don't know why I chose steer wrestling. I was three years old and we were watching the NFR one night and mom asked me what I wanted to do. I said I wanted to be a paleontologist during the day and a professional steer wrestler at night. And since then I've given up on the paleontology, but we're still steer wrestling. Uh, so far it's been working out okay. Uh, yeah, it, I love it. I've, it's all I've ever wanted to do. Um, I'm just glad it worked out. Uh, as far as other events, used to rope quite a bit. I uh, never did any of the rough stock, but rope calves, I was never fast enough fast enough to get off my horse to rope calves. And team roping, I never took that quite seriously enough. I just wanted to steer wrestle. So we had a lot of fun with that, and we roped for, for quite a long time. Uh, I'll see if I can post my fastest calf rope and run. Here we go. Here comes the run. <laughs> this young man has pretty much done a lot already in his career. He's been to the national. All right, for question number three, we're getting serious. Uh, would I rather fight one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? And I'm going with the duck-sized horses. Uh, I think one horse-sized duck would probably, because ducks bite, and if he was the size of a horse, he could probably bite pretty hard and he'd have wings that could probably beat the crap out of me. But I have a feeling if 100 horse-sized or duck-sized horses came running at me, I mean, I could probably punt quite a few of those out of the way and just keep kicking them and they'll be flying. I think I'd win that battle or step on them. But I don't think I'd want to mess with a, with a duck the size of a horse. Question number four, what is my go-to road trip snack combo? Uh, used to be I'd like to keep a full bag of Doritos on hand, uh, nacho cheese Doritos, and a Gatorade or a Coke or something but anymore those kind of make me feel bad so stick to usually try to stick to water uh celsius if we're ever getting tired we drink quite a few of those it's probably not good for us but so neither is crashing when you fall asleep actually uh and yeah jerky and uh peanuts keep some almonds on hand or something uh granola bars they seem to not make you feel too bad try to stay a little healthy because you can only stay so healthy when you eat out of a gas station most of the time, but do what we can. Craziest bulldogging moment. Um, I think I'll, I'll try to send it over. That's question number five. Uh, what is my craziest bulldogging moment? Prob I've had quite a few good wrecks, uh, but I think the one that probably takes the cake is my first ever run at Pendleton. Um, I was in slack and first day and I was like sixth guy out and I watched five guys before me just wreck out on the grass and I'd never been there. I was already nervous. And I didn't ride very good on mine. Got a good start. Um, didn't get all the way to the steer but I already got off and I blew my inside stirrup. And I ended up dragging behind this, behind, or trying to pull back up and then I was dragging on my horse looking back at the alley and then I turned around and was looking back at the end of the arena and, I let go and I slid on my head for about five yards and it hurt, it hurt pretty bad, but it, I mean, we survived. All right, last question you guys have for me. Uh, question number six, what am I most looking forward to in Las Vegas? Uh, I can't wait to run some steers in that yellow pen. It's all we've ever dreamed of. And my first NFR was held in Arlington 
uh, in 2020, Arlington, Texas. So I'm excited to finally go to the Thomas and Mac and uh, yeah, get to be a part of the grand entry and, and do all the things. Um, also gonna try to go to Piero's for a steak. Uh, but no, we don't have much planned yet other than I just can't wait to run 10 stews in that building. I think it's gonna be a blast. And, but I'm going to have my family there for most of it. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. See a lot of friends and hopefully win a lot. It'd be fun. But yeah, I just can't wait to can't wait to run them. Thanks for having me on the on the takeover.